And uh, just little little uh, notes here about uh, Twitter. So I just did a little poll and I said, hey, I thought it'd be funny if, uh, you know, Coinbase, which has their outages, if uh, during their listing, <laughs> that they actually went down uh, during the whole time, but uh, apparently didn't happen. They actually were able to stay up. So congratulations, Coinbase. Uh, for one time, you didn't crash. And uh, no, I'm just kidding. I mean, congratulations to Coinbase. They did a lot of, a lot of tough, tough work to get here. They've been around here since the very beginning. And I will say this. I talk bad about Coinbase because I'm kind of ticked off about their um, their fees. But look, if you're new and you don't know what's going on, Coinbase is a great place to start. And uh, they can onboard you and they can get everything done and you don't have to do anything really. It's super simple. So for them, the the ticket is worth the cost of the admission. And uh, that's that's fine with me now. I mean, if it's that's what it's going to take, it's what it's going to take. So good. And then uh, talked about Doge in the top uh, top 10. and then. I just talked about, because Bitcoin today hit its all-time high uh, and then dropped a little bit. But I said, you know, who's feeling like a genius is uh, Diddy from the uh, Bitcoin family. That guy in 2017, he put, he sold his, his, all his vehicles, he sold his business and his house and put it all on Bitcoin at the very beginning of 2017 when it was like a, a grand or something like that. So that's a pretty good day for Diddy. And then there was two more things I want to talk about. And that was this. Uh, this was from uh, Charlie uh, Biello, and that is, Charlie here is the founder and CEO of uh, Compound Capital Advisors, and he always, he's always has great information to put out, and this one's no different. He talks about, he just, he just does a lot of analysis, and he says, look, here's the returns over last year. I thought it was interesting that Cardano was number one over last year, 3,290%, 3, Cardano. Pretty good, huh? And then we had Binance Coin, which you know has been a great for this year. Uh, Polkadot, Ethereum at eleven hundred, Uniswap nine fifty three. So when you take a look at you know like you just take a look at these projects first, of course, take a look at what they've done, but take a look at uh, or what they're doing, and take a look at how much they've actually grown over the last year. And then he kind of even breaks it down where he talks about year to date uh, different projects that are crushing it because we we all talk about you know how great Ethereum is doing and how Bitcoin, but we kind of get sidetracked with the horse blinders on. And we don't really take a look and take a step back. It's like, what about in percentage wise, what's been doing the best? And he lays it out. And he goes, BitTorrent. BitTorrent. 2,000, almost 2,700%. So uh, my friend George is super happy about that. And then Terra, 2,100%. Uh, Solana, 1,700. Binance Coin, which we've all been talking about. Like, it's so great. But, you know, Doge, FTX, Cardano, Filecoin, VeChain, IOTA. Those are the big type of gainers. So I know we talk about how great certain products are doing, but really, if you're just here for the, the almighty cash, it's the percentages and uh, just somebody to follow, uh, Charlie Biello. And then lastly, I just want to say that uh, shout out to uh, Mike, the investor, because he was talking about BitTorrent all the time and for a long time ago. And I just, uh, uh, he's one of the guys that I recommend and uh, missed the ball on that one. So I just want to point out one real thing that in the description of every one of my videos, if you just scroll down, let me show you. Besides all the uh, tons of links that I have, I am the king of the show. Let's be honest. Uh, there's some people that I watch almost every day, and these are the ones that I recommend just because either they're kind of like me or they kind of have the same message, and they're not crazy wacky people. So, first one, Alex Mascioli, uh, because that guy. I mean, he he was the on the institutional side, uh, head of Bquan Services, deals with a lot of those uh, billion dollar hedge fund guys. So he's kind of like the inside guy. Uh, Alex Becker, if you don't know him, that guy is, he's pretty funny and he's been around the space for a little bit of time, but he keeps things entertaining and he is also about percentage gains. Uh, Coin Bureau guy, I mean, that guy, guy is fantastic. If you want to know some great information and really have it broken down into small segments, uh, guys, guys, your guy. Uh, Hashoshi, that's my guy over there. Forrest, he is uh, a developer, so you get the developer side of it, not just like my fundamental side, but actually the uh, nuts and bolts. Mike, the investor, low cap gem guy, uh, Dave, digital Dave, or crazy for cryptos. He's the one that, that turned me on to uh, Theta, Bitcoin Cash, and T Fuel. So definitely check him out. Nobs is uh, you know downtown Abbey, British kind of guy, and uh, he's just a little bit more uh, like reserved even than me. And lastly is uh, Diddy from Bitcoin Family. So again, check out those guys in the description. Uh, I watch them like I said almost every day, and uh, they always put out great stuff. So. 
First of all, if you stay with me at the end, I want to say thanks. I appreciate it. If you like the video, uh, give it a like. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things are time sensitive, really helps out. And that's it for today. So thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next